Are you okay, Miss Karen? Dandy, how are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. Uh, Who ain't? The boys around here. They act tough. They're good boys, mostly. It's the mostly I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. You'll be fine. One of us now. Hi, Jose. The drink. Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope. Really. <laughs> I can't. Can I talk to you a minute? Not again, Abigail. Not ever. Just leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Oh, I disagree. Now, why are you Arthur. so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? Yes, <laughs> I thought you were the horse expert. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something to... What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're reading. And I am, so why do you ask? Just making conversation. I'm sorry. I was being catty. I, I don't know why. You're very purdy. I'm sorry, I'm not being forward or nothing, but you are. You're very sweet. It's strange and horrible and an O'Driscoll, but sweet. I'm not an O'Driscoll, miss. Okay, whatever you say. I've taken a break. But yes, I plan to keep reading. Is it, uh, fun? It's amazing. It's the reason we're living. It's... It's the only thing that makes me happy. So the only thing that makes you happy is being in your head somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I never thought of it quite like that. You never read? No, I never fancied it. But you can. Well, I could, if I chose to. I've just not chosen to. <laughs> well, maybe one of us will teach you. You better not be stealing from the collection box again, Reverend. Steal? Stealing me? You. No. I was putting money in. How dare you, Mr. Pearson? Well, go on then. Put it in. Go on! <laughs> Five cents. Hello. How generous of you. You're not a nice man, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> Stealing from us after all we done? I wasn't. Pearson is a liar. Excuse me, you listen to me. I ain't got ideas above my station. I just ain't doing that no more. We all of us have to sing for our supper, miss. Sure, and singing's fine, but I'm done with that. And if you want me to leave, then that's fine, too. Well, I suppose I can discuss the matter with Dutch. Do whatever you goddamn please. Ideas above her station. She thinks we don't know her station. That horrendous old hag. How dare she. Mother. I know, my dear. What are we going to do? Is Dutch a... I mean, he's always found a way, but lately I... I know, dear. Seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Arthur, stop being strange and tell her to make plans. Listen to Jose, Abigail. I just wish John was... I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Jack needs you calm. 